Hey guys, I'm back to talk about my English 102 academic research paper. For this project, we had to think of a specific topic that had to do with folklore and research it by finding five academic sources to support our argument. I decided I would research Cherokee legends for my paper, and I found some very interesting facts out about Cherokee legends. The three most important aspects about Cherokee legends are that they influenced the way the Cherokees saw the world around them, they related to other religions quite a bit, and they affected European expansion in the American colonies. Though the Cherokee told many types of legends, their story about how the world was created influenced their lives the most. In this story, a water beetle came down to earth before any land on earth existed and dove to the bottom of the ocean and brought up a piece of mud which expanded into all of the land on earth. After this land formed, all the other animals were very anxious to come down and live on earth, but they weren't sure if it was safe yet, so they sent birds down to see if the mud was dry. After they did this, the buzzard found that the mud was still wet, and as he grew tired, his wings dipped, and they carved huge valleys and mountains into the landscape. After the mud was finally dry, the animals all came down to earth, but they found that it was dark. So they took the sun and put it on a track that ran from east to west. After they did this, though, the sun scorched the crawfish, turning it red, and the animals were forced to raise the sun in order for it not to be so hot. It was not until all this had happened that humans finally came into existence. This is significant because the Cherokee placed a great deal of importance on animals. The Cherokee saw animals as wiser, with more practical knowledge, and respected them greatly. They saw them as equals and sometimes even superiors. Another reason why this Cherokee creation story is significant is because it points to similarities between Cherokee religion and European religion such as Christianity and Judaism. For example, both Cherokee mythology and Christianity point out the fact that the world was originally covered by water. In addition, both belief systems state that Humanity stemmed from two original ancestors, a man and a woman. However, while Cherokee legends related to Christianity and Judaism in some ways, it related to the theory of evolution in other ways. And with the coming of the 17th and 18th centuries, the Cherokee would get to see how their religion would stand up to religions such as Christianity as European colonizers started to come to the United States. In the face of European expansion, Cherokee leaders saw their belief system as a way to defend their land. And multiple times, the Cherokee were forced to adapt the way they told their stories so that they would meet European conventions for history. And finally, pressure from the newly formed United States forced Cherokee leaders to voluntarily assimilate themselves with American culture, including religion. By 1860, all Eastern Cherokees were at least nominally Christian, and their traditional legends were used only as a means of entertainment. In conclusion, Cherokee legends about how their people and the world around them were created have affected them greatly throughout history. Cherokee legends determined how Cherokee people viewed the world, related to other belief systems, and played a role in European expansion. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.